What's going on guys, Zach here, and today I wanna to talk about making a living as an indie game developer and how to go about doing it. So, the thought of making indie games and becoming successful and making a living off of these games is pretty out there. If you would have told somebody 10 years ago that, hey, I'm gonna make games for a living all by myself and I'm gonna sell them and I'm gonna make money and I'm gonna live happy and I'm gonna uh, just prance down the road in my underwear and, and love life, uh, they would have said, you are crazy. I compare creating indie games and creating a career out of it most like creating a career out of YouTube. It just, it happens to a lot of people and it can happen. It's just very unlikely. Uh, you gotta be in the right place at the right time and you gotta know what you're doing and you gotta have some luck too. There's a lot of luck in there. So you really have to just sort of work on it and develop yourself and you know, it's not gonna happen overnight and that's one thing you gotta realize that creating any games is hard work. Uh, you know, and it's it can be frustrating. It can be very frustrating at times because uh, I know it's been very frustrating for me as well. And uh, it's just a mental barrier that you have to come across before you can really dive deep into it and say, this is what I'm going to do. Because if you have any doubts in your mind that this is not what you want to do, then this field isn't for you. You know, I like I like to think of it as if you know, there's tons of money out there. There's tons of money to be made and it's really just about how you go about doing it. So um, what's really fascinating to me is that we have the ability, you and I right now, to make millions of dollars by tomorrow. I mean, it's pretty crazy to think of. If you can go on your computers without spending a dime on anything and push the right key combinations and the right software and put it onto the right network, uh, you could be a millionaire. I mean, it's 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 unreal. People dedicate their lives to figuring out this combination, and it's out there. And there's many of them. There's many combinations. So um, you really got to know exactly what you're doing, and you can't figure out what you're doing and how you're doing it until you go through the mill with experience and you know exactly what's going on here and this is what to do and through my research this is how you get it and this is how you uh, complete something that is successful. Making a living as an indie game developer, let's actually get down to it. Uh, there, you know, you look at the people that have created huge successes, right? And especially I'm gonna name a lot of guys from the film Indie Game the movie, which is a very popular movie um, in the indie community, and you know, you got like Jonathan Blow that made Braid, he just came out with The Witness, you've got, you know, Notch that made Minecraft, he wasn't in the movie, but there we go, let me adjust this camera angle here. Like Edmund McMillan, which, you know, very successful, he's created many titles, uh, including Binding of Isaac, which is just uh, an, an amazing game, and uh, you know, but you only look at their life right now you know you're not looking at the last you know 10 years before that where you know they weren't making anything you know they were they were broke and why I said in the beginning of the video was you really got to know that this is what I want to do before you get into it because if you don't know and you're unsure and you're like yeah any games are cool uh, but you know, I can make, be making more money here and I have a true passion over here uh, Then I would make this your hobby, right? It's it's okay to make it your hobby. You know, I've made it my hobby for several years and It's fun. It really is fun. I've created titles. I've been playing a lot of my old games on my channel uh, Color Master, uh, Seder Run, you know, all these different types of things going in sort of different game jams But I never really got down to it and said, yes, this is what I want to do until about six months ago when I realized that this is what I want to do. This is my true passion. And it's really finding out for yourself if you want to do this. You got to find out what you want to do and then you go about doing it. Then that's when strategy comes along and figuring out how you're going to go about doing it and making yourself uh, incredibly successful. And that's what I've set out to do. And I believe everybody has a potential to go and do what they want to do. 
my potential is in the games and, and just gaming in general, teaching people. I love teaching people. That's why I created this channel in the first place. I never created it because uh, I thought I was gonna be making money or anything like that. I created it because nobody else had quality tutorials out there at the time. Nobody, and I remember when I was sitting there and I just downloaded Game Maker and I was looking on YouTube for tutorials and there was nothing. And so, you know, I learned a little bit more and I said, you know what, I can do this a lot better than these guys can. And I created the channel Real Touch GML, which I'm still active on five years later. So uh, that's really what it's about, finding your true passion. And you can make a living from indie games. It is possible. It definitely is possible. You just really got to know what you're doing and you got to have a lot of experience. It's not going to happen overnight and it's really not going to... Uh, show itself it couldn't show itself for maybe 10 20 years but it's just that breakthrough that you're looking that you're looking for you know and I've, I've made videos in the past about certain titles uh, and you know being successful indie game developer and sort of the steps you have to do um, to go about doing that I'll link a lot of those other videos for my Zach talks in the description and you can go ahead and check those out because I think that's some pretty quality content there that uh, you guys will enjoy if you enjoyed this video so go leave a like go and subscribe let's go and try for 100 likes please and thank you guys for watching visit codingmadesimple.com to figure out more about yourself and what you want to learn. So, till next time, peace.